A common question is, what's up next? What will be your next challenge for the boats? I have several ideas and I'll also pick up some of the ideas you introduce on the YouTube channel, you, all your viewers. A more long-term project or plan is to create a multi-purpose detector. If I want to detect cigarette butts or slugs or any particular type of litter, I need a sensor not based on metal or the weight or something like that. I need an, uh, a general purpose detector and I plan to do that based on cameras, machine learning and AI. And I hope I can pick up some of the technologies I use professionally. So these are boxes, pr prototype boxes I've designed for my, in my profession. Uh, this is just a, a person detector based on YOLO 4 and this is uh, a bird detector capable of distinguish between a thousand species of bird. So with this technology I would like to show you how you can apply these amazing technologies into your own projects whether you're building a uh, sort of a soda can detector for birds or something completely different. But you don't need to know all the details about machine learning and AI to get something up and running and I would like to show you that. Neural networks is maybe the most well-known way of implementing machine learning stuff into real world applications. Neural networks are fascinating and I will uh, add a link to this video to a site where you can get an absolutely wonderful explanation, easy to understand on the basic functionality of how they work. That's not that hard to understand really. It's more hard to understand how you train the network, but we don't need that to really use them. So in this thing, this bird detector, there's a camera hidden there, and this is just a display showing the species of bird. This is a small Linux platform. In fact, it's a Raspberry Pi 3. And this is a neural network accelerator. This is a dedicated piece of hardware dedicated for running neural networks. Because if I run them on this alone, on the Raspberry Pi, it will be quite slow. That's feasible or good for some ap uh, applications. But if you want to speed that up, this is an alternative. You could also uh, test the Movidius chip from Intel and there are even more accelerated chips and I got a tip from, on, from the channel yesterday about Amazon Deep Lens. That's a camera uh, not yet known to me but I'm going to look that up and link to that too. And I will also link to my favorite place of learning Python because uh, the code here is very often Python. But with this technology, a neural network trained on the items we want to classify for the, the bird box, different type of litter, etc. We can set up a system where, we, where the birds can, can bring the litter or the object into a, maybe a special compartment. We could have the proper lightning and the camera at a special distance. And kaboom, out we will get the classification. Is this a cigarette butt, a bottle cap, a soda can or a, a Spanish killer slug that we want to get away from our vegetables? So this is the magpie and if I show that for the bird detector you instantly get the Eurasian magpie indication. A little bit more tricky is this that I think is the tree sparrow, I'm not sure. I think the black dot there is the tree sparrow thing. We'll see. Yep, tree sparrow. And then we have the very similar house sparrow. Ta-da! House sparrow. 